What's up you guys, it's been Sanity, and today I wanted to dig back into doing kickups. Recently I've been getting a lot of feedback on my older kickup video that um, people are still struggling. Now the kickup is one of those moves that you either do or you don't. If you hesitate, it just does not happen for you. However, there are actually baby steps that you guys could use to learn the kick up that I actually teach my students as well. Um, these kind of help you gain confidence at each minor level in order to work your way up all the way to your feet. A lot of times you typically just learn how to go to your feet. Today we're going to be focusing on five different baby steps that you guys could use to learn the kick up. Alright you guys, so before we start the kick up, there's two basic things that you guys need to know. The first thing is the kick, and we're going to focus on that right now. So the kick is actually just with your legs going from here to here. Basically you compress your body into a spring, and then you unload that spring, and that's what shoots you off the ground. So let's try that right now. What you're going to do each time you practice is lean back, and you have to get your lower back off the ground like this. If you simply kick with your back straight, you have no leverage to get off the ground. So what we have to do is get our lower back off the ground so that when we kick our feet, we actually are able to spring off the ground. The second tool you guys need is your head and your hands. These basically allow you to lift off the ground. As I described in my older videos, this move is kind of like those Chris Brown music videos where he's chilling on a wall and goes like this and he kicks off the wall and says what's up to a girl. It's kind of like that, but you kick off the ground and say what's up to the sky. So with that said, we have to always utilize our head on the ground and or your arms. So the first baby step that we're gonna work on is actually just kicking up and lifting our hips off the ground. Now this might seem super simple, but this is gonna teach you guys the motion for the kick up so that will eventually lead to your full feet. Okay, this is how we do it. We go to our couching position, and we're gonna kick our feet to the ground. And when we kick our feet to the ground, we lift up our hips, okay? We're gonna first do this in two different steps. So it goes here, crouch, kick your feet to the ground, lift up your hips, okay? After you guys get comfortable with that, what you wanna do is kick it to the ground and lift your hips up at the same time. Like so, here, boom, okay? That lifting motion is basically what we need to learn for the full kick up. It goes again, here, boom. As you can see, my butt, my back never touches the floor. All right, one more time. Here, explode. All right, easy. The second baby step is we're gonna lift up a little bit higher into a head bridge, okay? So let's first try it without the jump. Going here, boom, we kick our feet to the ground, we lift up into a head bridge, boom. Then what we wanna do is do that lift all in one. Now if you don't really feel comfortable too much on your head, just use your arms to kinda of support you and uh, get your balance, okay? It goes like this, back, up. If you guys notice, my butt never touches the floor. I literally kick and I land straight to my feet and my head. Let's try it one more time. Back, up. So in order to get there, basically as you're kicking, you're arching your back, starting from your head all the way to your feet, okay? Um, if you, again, struggle with that, you might wanna just practice a head bridge in order to kinda get comfortable in that position. Let's try it one more time, just for your viewing pleasure. Boom, up, okay? Now, you're gonna notice at this level, if you kick too hard, you're gonna feel a little bit of a bounce in your head, and it might not feel so comfortable. If you start to feel that, that means you're starting to generate enough power to get to the next level. And the third baby step is going to be to the full bridge. Now, a lot of people struggle with the bridge, and so I would highly recommend you guys practicing just getting comfortable in a bridge position, but at the same time, if you can't get to the full bridge, just lift up as much as you can, okay? Again, without the jump, here, we kick our feet to the ground just to kind of get comfortable, and as soon as our feet hit the ground, we explode into a bridge, all right? Going all the way up, okay? Let's try it again, ready? Here, just to get comfortable, kind of learn where to place your feet. One thing that I've learned and has helped me a lot is place your feet 
close to you when you do the kick up because if you try to place it way out here, you will most likely not land a kick up. Okay, from here, boom, my feet are in place. I lift up my hips, my arms into my full bridge. Okay, now with the kick up, boom, kick up, bridge. Ready? Boom, boom. Right? If you push, and kick at the same time, it's effortless. You're not really using much strength, you're using this kick. That's what we wanna learn how to do. To take advantage of this power. This creates so much power for literally so many, so many moves that we do in breaking, gymnastics, uh, everything. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Going back, up. One more time, back, up. All right, so now that we're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable kicking to a bridge, we're now gonna go to our fourth step, which is kicking to our feet. Now, this is a kind of an awkward stage because now you're going from literally supporting yourself with your arms, your head, your back, to completely relying on your feet. So our approach to getting this step down is gonna be to try to get to our feet with our hands off the ground. One thing that we have to do is we have to literally commit to going forward onto our feet, right? And sometimes that's a little bit of a challenge. So the focus right now, again, is to simply get to our feet, okay? Our first try. This time, we can't just land in a bridge and hold it, right? We have to actually commit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick to my feet, and even if I lose my balance, I'm just gonna practice rolling back, because as you guys do it more, you will have to learn how to roll back because you don't want to fall and hurt yourself. So, my first attempt, this is going to be, again, a very low, low, low kick up. Going back, fall back, right? As long as I'm landing on my feet, solid, that's what I'm focusing on right now. I don't have to go super high yet, focusing just getting in my feet. Ready, going back, up, boom, All right? One more time, okay? Now, within this step, there's levels to it, right? This is the lowest level. And as I get comfortable landing on my feet, I'm gonna start to feel the power and the balance. And I need to adjust it right now. Right now, my balance is making me fall back. So in order to adjust that, I need to kick up and get my weight a little bit more over here. So this time, I'm gonna try to kick up a little bit harder, get my feet under me a little bit more so that my balance is a little bit more balanced. Okay, let's try it here. Boom, right? And again, I'm just in like a squat position. It's not super high, but I at least got my feet under me. Okay, let's try it again. Go back, boom, okay? That one was even a little bit more. I almost felt like I was gonna fall this way. But the main objective here is to find your balance. Not going super high, but just your balance in general. So making sure your legs land underneath you and making sure you feel stable. Okay, let's try it again. Again, trying to aim my feet underneath me, not super far forward, okay? Here, boom, all right? So once you start feeling comfortable, just getting to your feet, again, this lower level, once you feel comfortable with this, you're ready to just take off, okay? Um, one easy trick, too, is when you land with your, if you're trying to land with your feet together like this, it's actually pretty difficult and it's hard to balance too. So if you land with your feet almost like shoulder width, you'll have a lot more balance and control. You'll see some people actually try to land like with their feet super far, which you can do, but it does get a little bit dangerous, especially when you're first learning this. So I would definitely recommend to gain control of your kick up before you try to do anything special. So lastly, our final baby step, which is actually like the big boy kick up. We are going to try to land all the way standing up, fully extended, right? To do this, when we kick from the ground, we basically are going to shoot our hips forward as we kick and try to land on both feet, knees bent just like, okay? So again, just so if you can imagine I'm on the ground, I kick up, my feet go to the ground and I wanna try to get my feet again under me and I wanna be straight up. Again, your first attempts are gonna be trial, so you're gonna still be learning to find your balance. As you do it more and more, you'll start to adjust and feel that balance, okay? Our first attempt. I'm gonna kick up, land on my feet, extend my hips forward, extend my chest forward. Let's try it. 
So again, when we kick, we want to imagine like we're compressing a spring really hard and we want to just unload it into the air. So we compress our spring, we release it, and then we have to control where we land, right? A lot of people have really good power kicking, but it's also about the control and technique of where you land. So this time we're gonna try to land again with our feet, like a little bit underneath us and try to stand up straight once we land. Okay, let's go here. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, the kick up is one of those moves that you have to commit to. You either land it or you fall backwards, okay? Especially on that last step. You either land up or you're off balance and you're gonna fall back. So one of the tools that is gonna really help you guys out is committing. Most of the people that I train on kick ups, their biggest issue is committing. They'll put their hand back to like, you know, just in case they fall. What you guys wanna do, again, take those baby steps so that you learn if you do fall or land off balance, you can just roll backwards, right? And it's no problem at all, okay? But the biggest issue that people have is hesitation, okay? So take these baby steps, eliminate any type of hesitation, and go all the way to your full big boy, big girl kick up. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys press like to see more stuff like this. Press that little bell to get notified and make sure you guys subscribe. All right, get to kicking. Up that is.